Today we're taking a look at the bunker from SWC, which stands for Swiss Watch Company. Stephen Romer, the founder of SWC, started in the watch business working for the Swiss Watch Company in Switzerland. The Swiss Watch Company has been around since 1996, making watches for the U.S. Marines, first responders, and even other reputable brands, according to the SWC website. This company is interesting because it is based in the United States and fully assembled in Switzerland, making this a true Swiss watch. As we unbox this, using air quotes, since there's no box, you'll see the watch ships in a wonderful full leather travel case. It measures almost exactly six inches top to bottom and five and three quarters left to right. The case has three snaps on the right hand side. They regulate it the best they can and write down the different positions the watch was tested using a time grapher and how it scored with time gain or lost per day. You'll also receive a very nice handwritten thank you note on the back side. This is awesome to see that the staff takes this kind of time to do that. Second thing you'll have here is your filled out warranty card that shows you the date of purchase, serial number, and three years of warranty coverage. On the right side, you have three slots to store your straps, and you'll notice it already has one present. On the left, you'll find a pocket with a leather flap. Under here is where the bunker is hidden and protected. Side note, on the very edge, you'll see poked holes just above the middle and lower snaps. Here's where the bent spring bar is stored to use with the included nylon Velcro strap. Just be careful so you don't lose it. Now moving on to the watch itself, this is the DLC bunker. It is a gorgeous field watch housed in a titanium case using a Swiss made movement, the Stolita SW200. Starting from the top, the bunker has a sapphire glass with 16 layers of AR or anti-reflective coating. This will help reduce reflections from artificial or natural lighting, making it easier to read the time. They've reportedly used eight layers under the crystal and an additional eight more layers on the outside, then cover that with a layer of sapphire to help with durability. From there, we have the stated grade two titanium case. This case has a very nice finish, smooth with no rough edges to be found. Titanium is stronger and lighter than stainless steel. The bunker weighs in at 50 to 54 grams, depending on which strap you use. Comparing that to my Tendorio watch that I got off of AliExpress, has a stainless steel case and using a PT5000 movement, which is very similar to the SW200. And on leather, that's a bit more at 71 grams. That titanium really does make a big difference in the weight. But because titanium is easier to scratch, SWC added extra hardening with DLC or diamond-like carbon coating. Doing that gives the bunker a reported 1000 HV of protection on the Vickers scale. They've included drilled lugs to make changing straps easier. Some dimensions here for those curious, a diameter of 41 millimeters with the SW200 movement, the thickness, or should I say thinness, is just 10 millimeters and very easy to wear with the 46 lug to lug size. They use a nice screw down case back and screw down crown to offer 100 meters of water resistance. That's amazing for a field watch. Mentioning the straps, you'll get two very nice straps included with your purchase of the bunker. There's a high quality, albeit very stiff, leather band that will take some time to break in. Also included is a very light and breathable Velcro nylon strap. That's the one that's my favorite and makes bunker even lighter at just 50 grams. Moving inside, we have a very nice dial that is easy to read with the large Arabic numerals. And speaking of easy to read, SWC went crazy with Loom adding 20 layers of high quality X1 grade Swiss made Super Luminova. Hit the dial with a flashlight or go outside in the sun for just a minute and this watch will glow even in a lit room. While you're here, let's take a quick look at the date complication. It's a nice subtle window showing the date but the incredible trick here is that SWC is a five minute tolerance for the date changeover. All that would make you take a step back and think this is gonna be pretty costly, but surprise it is actually cheaper than the likes of Hamilton Khaki Field Watch at just 450. So the final question is, would I recommend this to someone looking for their first automatic movement? Yes, without a doubt. What about those that already have a few 
but searching for something new to try, I'd probably say yes again. It's well worth your consideration. When it's in stock, it seems to go quickly.